Hello lovely people of the internet, it is Crofty here once again and today we will be playing The Binding of Isaac. Now, this is my second episode of this quick play series and we are now up to level 3, also known as the caves. So let's begin, let's go right this time. Okay these things, they're giant flies, I believe they explode when you shoot them enough, like they turn red and explode. Well, let's test my theory. Come on. There. Yeah. There. Ow. Ugh, why? Ow, yep, they explode. They most definitely explode. Oh, a nickel. Okay, these things are not that hard, they just chase you a lot, and but they have no ranged attack, I believe. Though they do look creepy. Oh yeah, they also respawn, I forgot about that. Don't must kill their sort of corpse thingamajiggy. Okay. Ooh. And this is where bombs come in useful. Bam! I can now open this chest. Ooh, money! Money! Money, money! Oh, these things. These things are weird. Little magnet things. Now, basically, when they see you, they will chase you. Like that. In fact, this is actually a horrible map to have them on. Oh, and we can't open up that treasure room, treasure, treasure room because we need a another key. So let's hope we find one throughout this level. Now, these things are like those other slightly smaller maggots but they shoot stuff at you instead so fairly easy to avoid just try not to get hit too much no. again with these sword rooms uh, I'll figure it out later could always go on the wiki but yes if you guys have any questions feel free to leave some in the comments this also includes any other games you want me to play or any helpful advice because I'm not too good at this LP thing yet. I've tried several times before but it's never worked out so I think with a more casual game like this it should be a bit easier to do. Pew 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 and this headless thing is dead. Only bodyless body head head. Okay, these things are fun. Um, basically, you can't attack them while they're in that stage with their skulls, so you have to shoot them when they attack you. So, sort of fire a couple things and run off. Ow. Ow. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna see if. No, I have no bombs. That's it. Pew pew pew. Alright, one down, two to go. Ow. Yeah, oh, key, woo, treasure, yay. Now let's retrace our steps. Go back up. Go up again. Turn right and key. Oh, flies, these things are cool. They're basically actors. Actually, I've had this item before. Hmm. I think they act as probably a bodyguard on physical attacks, I assume. So, like, them actually touching you. But, let's find out! Uh. Okay, these things are creepy. Stitch up now. Oh god, cornered, cornered, cornered. Well, they didn't defend me. Maybe they did damage. <sighs> God, about to die. You ah. Okay, these things are like those other creatures we saw before, but the flies have sort of taken over them a bit more, I guess. So basically, they constantly spawn flies until you kill them. I think. Actually, they don't constantly spawn flies. Just they. I know they do. Die! 
I'm pulling you out of your misery. Don't judge me. <laughs> oh, coward. Q. Oh my god, I'm Satan. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, yes. No, my Satan powers. I mean, what? <laughs> okay, now these machines are only good when you have heaps of health. Now basically they, what they do is that you give hearts and then you get money for it. So originally I thought, hey, if I give, if I give money I might get hearts. But then I realized I was reading the sum incorrectly and I died. No! See that was an example of a negative pill. pill. It turned my tears attack down, so good thing it was at the lowest level anyway. Oh, these things are cute. So yes. Oh god. Basically, as soon as you walk in front of this guy, he will lunge at you, lunge at you like that. So, what I suggest is kill these little guys first, so they don't annoy you. Okay, he spawns more. Oh. So, actually, get him... Hmm. If you can get him to actually run into the little chub guys, you can get him to kill them all, so that's always good. But yeah, so run across him, and as he charges, go up to his side and then shoot him. It's the easiest way to do it. And I have half a health left. Can I do it? Oh, no I can't. And there goes me. Well, that sucks. <clears throat> so basically what we do, what what happens now is that we get the game over screen which tells you what you did, tells you what you were killed by. So I was killed by the, I was killed in the cave by a boss named Chubbs. And these are all the items that you've obtained during the thing. So that's always fun. Alright. Now, I'd normally I would replay, but this game can get a bit dull after constantly playing it every so often. So let's look at my stats to fill in video time. 19 deaths. 54 items. Have not finished the game yet. And secrets. Basically, these are performing certain acts in the game, and then you are able to unlock different items. See? So these are all the items I've used before. Fairly cool. All have their own special abilities and stuff. Like, where is the chocolate milk? This one's cool. Basically turns your tears into chocolate milk and they do extra damage. It's always fun. Th there you go, chocolate milk. It's one of my favourite. But yes. Oh, that, that, that's lovely. But yeah, so this was the Binding of Isaac. I have died already. <laughs> it only took me two episodes, so I last I lasted longer than I thought I would, which is always good. But basically, so basically, this is how the story is going to run, or how this uh, let's play is going to run. It's just going to be me doing a couple episodes every so often, uploading them, seeing if you guys like it or not. If it's successful, I'll continue uploading them. If no one likes it, then I'll just leave it, and yes, that's what we're going to do. Sorry for the short episode, guys, but I died, and I was so sad. But yes, um, stick with me. I think I'll eventually get better at this whole Let's Play thing, so we'll see where we go from there. And be sure to check out our other channel stuff. We got a group Minecraft um, server going up, so for those fans of Minecraft, feel free to look at that. Lucky people may get to join our server eventually, who knows? And yes. So this is Crofty from Text Room wishing you all a lovely day and I uh, hope hope to see you next time. Any comments feel free to leave them and I'll definitely take them all into account. 
I, prefer, I would love some feedback, or if you guys want me to do a particular game, just send it and I'll see if I have it. Anyway guys, hope you all had fun, and yes, I'll be back later. See ya.